Oh my gosh. Not good, right? Disgusting. On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we tried to de biohazard my 2002 Volkswagen Passat. Can I buy it for me? What is going on guys? I am Watch J Argo, and today I walked out. I'm out here trying to eat my breakfast, which is delicious by the way. Here, hold this so I can eat. Uh, I wanna eat too though. It is cool that you brought pizza for breakfast, but I brought Dippin' Dots and those are amazing. So I walked out, I'm eating my breakfast and my brother showed up and he's like, I want my truck back. Gabe showed up, Zach showed up. We got the whole crew here, except for Josh, who's busy doing Mustang things. We're getting the band back together. The band's back together, and we're gonna unload this because Jared wants to take his truck home. I'm gonna head to the store right now. I'm gonna buy a respirator and white vinegar, and I'm gonna spray the entire interior. And I also have CLR mildew remover from the boat, which was fun. I've got plenty of white vinegar. Linked above. Oh, you got white vinegar? Got tons of it. Oh, cool. And then we're gonna take this to Green Lantern today, hopefully, after I make the interior oh livable. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make the Green Lantern? <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine? And I'm gonna pay them their $40, <laughs> oh. and I'm gonna be like, here's this car, it needs detailed. But I'll, I'll get all the mildew off the seats right now. So we're gonna put on my Tyvek suit, we're gonna get, you know, all hazmatted up. I'm gonna go get a respirator, and we're gonna get white vinegar, and we're gonna go to town. First, let's get it off the trailer. Who wants to drive? Not me. <laughs> Anybody else is in. Zach? Just put it on neutral, and I'll floor the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I did come out at 4 a.m. last night, hooked the charger up, and the charger says we have 13.2 volts. Oh, man. It smells just being behind it, but look inside. There's the green beans. There's the seats. Oh, it's gross. I didn't notice the headliner came loose, and it's hanging. It's gross. But it comes with a Johan box CD, so it was all worth it. Come on, you've seen worse cars than this. Maybe. No. This tire was a little bit flat, so I started airing it back up, and then it auto-bulged. Look at that. And every time I touch it, it seems like it's getting worse. Oh, yeah. So nice. Great back. You got it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am extremely sick. So I just went to Lowe's and grabbed a respirator because, uh, yeah, I got in that car last night for, what, five minutes to start it once, drive it onto the trailer. And within like five minutes of driving away, I felt myself like my, my nose was all plugged up and everything started like, it was bad. I could feel things in my throat. And you know, I, I think the like airborne spores really do get to you that fast. I bought a 3M uh, P100 respirator, which is the one for mold and lead paint remover, not P95. This is the better one. Uh, but I bought the small cartridge one because uh, it's like 50 plus dollars if you buy the big cartridges this one lasts for hours and hours and hours doing mold removal so uh we're gonna rock with that hopefully i uh, don't get any sicker if i do i will be in trouble and i don't know what's gonna go on with our daily videos here but we're gonna work through it i'm gonna put on my tyvek suit i'm gonna put that on and we're gonna go right to work time to get out the suit i haven't had to wear this since we got that biohazard grand prix that was uh just as nasty i would say but without all the mildew it just it just felt like you were gonna die in this one you're not gonna say it's a great deal. You've gotten to wear it twice now, so. Yeah, actually, and they're only $10 or something. For, <laughs> so, the last time I remember, like, it was like 100 and something degrees, but I was dying inside this suit. Hopefully today, since it's 50, I'll be okay. I'm gonna walk everywhere in slow motion while I wear this. It sounds like I'm wheezing now. I'm pretty suited up. I could've worn goggles, but it's just mildew. It's, it's just mildew. Let's get to it. White vinegar and water. <laughs> Enough playing around, we're going in for real this time. I'm gonna get this stuff out of here. Ah, oh, the mildew. It has attacked us. It has to sit for 10 minutes, according to the old interweb. Green beans may go in the trash. Here. I'll bet you they're still good. Hold on, hold on, let's see. I'm sure they're still good. December 2020. Oh yeah, perfect. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I do feel a lot safer. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, somebody wants to buy your house. Cool. That's good to have. Yeah. 
Future reference. Says he pays cash. Well, that's good. I also pay cash. Uh, I think that we're doing pretty good here. We've got, I got every inch of the car soaked. I mean, that's a whole bottle so far. I'm just gonna keep going. We got about five more minutes before we can start wiping. It's been 10 minutes now. We're gonna start wiping. If nothing else, it'll be a really good interior detail. Won't be a sticky thing left. Right. Well, that's not terrible. Well, the doors weren't bad. No. Anyway, but... Yep. Oh. <laughs> that is terrible. I hope we killed all this. That was a reverse emissions car. Yeah. It probably was helping the environment or something. But look at it clean up. It makes an impressive difference. So that was a lot of work. I got the suit back off, got the respirator off. There's a bunch of trash that I just have to throw away. The manual, we'll, we'll probably save that. The floor mats will wash up, no big deal. Uh, the car looks about a thousand times better. I don't think there's any like visible mildew left in the entire car. We wiped down every inch of the car many times, especially the stuff that's like normally dirty in a car. We had to hit over and over and over. Oh yeah, girl. Look at that, clean right up. Well, after many costume changes, all my laundry is in the washing machine now because because uh, of mold. I sat in the car and oh man, <laughs> it's so creepy now. All right, let me uh, pull on this wrap Wait, can here. Can I hold that for you? Yeah. Let me hold that for you. We're unwrapping the hood before we get this thing over the car wash here in just a minute. This wrap's coming right off. Not bad at all. That uh, That's some actually nice quality vinyl. It is. It's 3M or something. Very nice. And it's only been on there for a year, which is about the perfect, perfect amount of removal time. So I once heard somebody say that putting a vinyl wrap on your car destroys the finish and <laughs> damage and blah, blah, I think blah. you mean perfectly protects it. Exactly. Especially this is print and lamb, so it's really thick. It's probably four or five mils. So lots of protection factor out of this. Last piece. <laughs> I like how you got all your weight on it. Just full <laughs> pull. It does not come <laughs> It's coming just fine. Last inch, sweet. Done. There it is. A little bit of adhesive mines there. We gotta pop off, but done. Surprisingly, only took like seven minutes. Ish, not bad. Yeah. yeah. Huge thank you to a viewer. Uh, John reached out last night. I just posted on my personal Facebook, hey, I need an ozone generator because I don't have one. And I ordered one on Amazon uh, right when I made that post. And of course I was like, no, I need it right now. So there was already a message from a viewer in my inbox. It's still running. And he was like, hey, you need an ozone generator? Feel free to use mine, I've never tried it. So that's been running for the last few hours here. It has a timer and the timer, there's no way to make it stay on past 120 minutes. So last night I tried electrical tape, I put it over the dial, wrapped it back over to itself and it was able to rip that off. This morning I grabbed my really nice duct tape, my uh, HVAC duct tape, and I wrapped over that timer. I made like a, a little flag on it and then you know pulled back with some tension to hold it uh, at its like max limit, 120 minutes, taped it down, put like five more pieces of tape over it, should come off with zero residue and that thing has been on for about five or six hours. So hopefully it's enough, it needs more time, it needs to sit overnight and last night was a Fail. Right now I'm gonna get all the doors open, try to clear out some of the ozone. I can still smell the vinegar and mildew. Unfortunately, we're gonna put on our respirators, get this thing to the car wash. I'm so excited for the car wash, and uh, I think we're really gonna kind of knock out most of what's left, and uh, everything else will just be little details that need cleaned up on this car. Driving it through the neighborhood. What? We gotta, we're, at least we're suited up. I scrubbed the seat belts forever yesterday. How good do you think they are? That's a good question, I don't know. I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna find out. Oh, man, they feel okay. Yeah, they don't feel nasty. Oh, good. All right, I'm good. Can I get for you? Uh, everything. The, like, ultimate with full interior. So that'll be 41.93. There you go. All right, we're back in the car wash with our mass saw and all that good stuff. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I guess we're gonna find out if the sunroof leaks. <laughs> Thanks. 
Yep. We finally got it clean. At least now it needs another all night ozone treatment. Looks pretty good sitting in here. And we made it back. Look at that. The car is so much cleaner. We've got the ozone generator shoved in there again, trying to get the rest of the smell out. We definitely had to gas mask it all the way back. And it was incredibly cold. Windows open, gas masks on, and uh, living. Right. Yep. It was, it was real living. Real living. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you're supposed to drive your car around. And nobody called the cops on us, at least we don't think. Anyway, that's it. It's uh, sort of clean. It honestly needs one more pass through that car wash. The roof still has dirt on it. But everything else cleaned up pretty well. So and, much better. Uh, yeah, maybe we will make another pass through there. But for now, it's looking pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's dark. And please like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Well, you can't say this car is not an adventure. No, it's an adventure. <laughs> too bad. Too bad the tire <laughs> sidewall went. But uh, we're getting it done. You know, all the gas stations have these now, and Dippin' Dots are like my favorite food in the world. So now I'm. I'm eating too much of it, but I gotta ask you though, are they as good as like the real fresh dip in? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I just always get concerned like the frozen bags. This is not sponsored. I tried to buy some once, like 100% not. Uh, and I jumped on the internet and I found out it's like 50 or $60 to get a box. Holy and I was like, I really want it, but I don't want it that bad. I want it $10 bad. Like a big box? <laughs> because they ship it in dry ice or something. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't, I've never ordered it. Yeah. I was just, I was at the gas station.